Hello. I'm just waiting for people to get on here. Hi, everybody. I wanted to discuss some BoxyCharm stuff with you guys, and I had a little bit of some bad news that I was going to be sharing here in a minute once we get more people on here. Um, I wanted to do a quick update that, hi Angela, hi Michelle, it's just updating that um, add-ons are no longer happening right now on BoxyCharm, Choice is still open, hi Rachel, oh wow, 10 of you guys, hi you guys. Um, the charm room is not open right now either, so it's just choice at the moment. Um, I also got a little bit of some bad news today from the doctor, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, definitely not looking my best. Yeah, I just went on the BoxyCharm website and um, it won't let me access any add-ons, so I'm not sure what that is about. Hi, Sheila. So, um, I just want to let you guys know really quick and then we can move on to diving into some like past BoxyCharm items. And um, I went to the doctor today and I am being referred to a um, breast surgeon who specializes in breast cancer. So, that is going to be my new journey. So, I'm trying not to be emotional because, you know... It, it could be nothing or it could be something, so we will find out together. I feel like if I have your guys' support, then um, I can be strong enough to deal with um, any answers that might come. So, um, now that we got over that part, I just wanted to make sure to update you guys on that. Um, I have all of my makeup boxes around me. It's so funny. I have to show you guys how I keep my makeup. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much, Michelle. It really means a lot to me. That That's really comforting, Angela. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I meant uh, Angela. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. So, um, I keep my makeup past subscription boxes. This is a, thank you, Carol. Thank you, Angela. Hugs are always appreciated. Always. Hugs make everything better. Wandering eyes. That is so amazing. I am so glad. That gives me a lot of hope. I appreciate it. April, I'm so sorry. I hope everything works out for the both of us. And um, it would be really great to have support from each other. Yeah, definitely big congrats, Wondering Eyes. Um... um I got a message on the side. Okay, so my friend Amber didn't know if I wanted this to be on the live or not. But Amber, I'm going to read it out loud because it's okay. Um, she asked, or she said, I'm sorry, do you have lumps on your breast somewhere? Is that why the doctors are sending you to a different doctor? And um, yes, about a year ago... I had found a lump on this side, and um, I went in for an ultrasound there because they say I'm too young to have a mammogram. Not sure about that, but doctors know best, so I'm just going to go with that. And um, 
there's something going on with my arm. It goes all the way down my arm to where my fingertips are numb. Uh, they think it's a nerve problem. And so, um, thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Sheila. Um, so when they did the ultrasound, they did see something there, but they thought that it was just swelling or irritation from whatever was going on with my arm. And, um, so thank you, Sheila. And thank you, Angela. I'm going to go and see this, um, breast surgeon on the 22nd and I'm going to ask her opinion as well on, uh, what we should do from there and if I it would be beneficial to get a mammogram and um, my doctor said that because when you're younger I'm sorry if this is too much information you guys but when you're younger they said that the breast tissue is too dense and that it's hard to see on a mammogram and so um, I'm gonna go see this breast surgeon who specializes in breast cancer and but when I had first got seen this and felt something that was off um we kind of just got sidetracked on trying to fix my arm because i have a lot of pain in my arm and i have to take nerve pain medicine every day for it and um but i thought i i checked up on it again and um it's still there so i made another doctor's appointment and my doctor did an exam and she said you're very right it is still there i feel it and she called the um, the surgeon while I was still in the room and made an appointment right then and there for me. And um, I firmly believe in second opinions, that's for sure. And um, so I'm going to be going there. My mom has also had issues with this in the past as well. Um, hers ended up being nothing. And so that's why I'm just trying to stay really positive. But it's always a really scary thing to think of. Um, it's just really scary. I got three kids and I'm wanting to live to see them grow and become successful. And so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is um, they'll probably do a biopsy first and um, I'll keep everybody updated and posted of what they say. So um, that's what's going on. And, um, that's just been really heavy on my mind today, so. And I did tell you guys that I'd be going live Monday and Tuesday nights from the train station, but, um, I didn't end up making it to my appointment today, so, um, here I am in my room. And I figured we could go over some past, past, um, past, uh, BoxyCharm products and see what everybody liked and didn't like. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate it. I wanted to show you guys what I keep my makeup in. This is a past uh, Boxy Luxe box. <laughs> and this is what I hold my makeup in. So here's some of my eyeshadow palettes. I keep like my eyelashes in here. Um, this is my eyes box. <laughs> and so like um, my mascaras are in here and all of my eyeshadow palettes. And so we'll go through some of this stuff and what I got in past boxy charms. I just want to show you guys. Um, here's another one of my makeup boxes. This is from Influencer. And this is my lipstick box. All of my lip products. And one that is actually since there was the spoiler for the November box about um, the Dominique Cosmetics. Really? Can you guys see me okay? Um, so since one of the spoilers is that... Okay, good. Um, Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is the lip uh, lipstick that we got um, in one of our boxes. This is the lemonade lipstick, or lipstick, lip gloss. And this smells amazing. Like, <laughs> it's so terrible. I'm always like, can I just taste it? 
But um, no, it's not edible. It does not taste good. Yes, it it smells exactly like cake batter, like cupcakes. It's so good. And it's got really good pigment, too. So, this lip gloss is amazing. It also is not sticky, which is what I really like about this as well. Um, so, another influencer box. This one's a little older. Thank you, Amber, for letting me know about that. I hope you guys can see me better now. Um, this is all of my... Ah! I have mine in my purse bag, yeah. I like to keep them all separated so I'm not, like, constantly digging through everything to find what I need. So, like, this is all of my eyebrow stuff, my liquid eyeliners, my regular eyeliners, um, eyebrow gel, my eyeliner pots. That's what I keep in this box. Do, do, do. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever watched my past videos, but I got a Bulu box, like when I had first started out as a YouTuber, and um, I got this free for review. This is one of those health snack boxes where you get like, um, <laughs> right, Angela, that would be cool. We can be makeup besties through the internet. It works. Um, so... I keep all of my brushes in here and I got this like elf uh, brush cleaner but I feel like it's just like rubbing alcohol watered down in a bottle that you spray on your brushes so I mean I'm sure you could just make that at home right it just makes everything so much easier huh Sheila but everybody laughs at me all the time. They're like, you got like six or seven makeup boxes full of makeup. And I'm like, no, they're not full. <laughs> um, what am I missing? I got brushes and lipstick and eyeliners. Where's my face box? Is this my face box? Oh, okay. This is my face box. So I have a FabFitFun starter box that I had gotten. And this is where I keep all my face products. Hi, Zach. Hello. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm going to use my Batman voice while you guys do your videos so they don't know what I really sound like. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Did you guys just hear Zach? He's such an odd one. He says he's going to use his Batman voice for when I go live so you guys don't know what his real voice sounds like. All right, you guys have fun. All right, thank you, Zach. Good day to you. Good day to you as well, sir. Come on, Maggie. <laughs> he's a silly one. So this is where I keep all my face products. This is my Cover FX palette and, like, my Becca and my face sponges, my primers, all that goes in here. <laughs> so you guys could hear him. That's good. He's a crack up, that's for sure. And then I also have my little thingy. Oh, Angela, I'm sure it's not embarrassing. If you have enough makeup to where you feel like you could be embarrassed about it, you're just awesome. <laughs> and then here is my um, skincare uh, bucket. And I missed something. Yeah, it's like a fishbowl. It's awesome. Um, yes, and please, you guys, hit like. That would help me out so much. I'd really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, so here I am, makeup enthusiast, lover, you know, the whole shebang, love makeup, everything about it, it's amazing, because honestly, in my opinion, I'm an artist, I love painting, um, hold on, let me go grab you guys one of my paintings really quick, uh, oops, I swear, there's a, there's rhyme to my reason. Yes, I'll get back to uh, Jeffree Star here in a second. So I'm a painter, okay? Can you guys see that all right? 
do 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 Jack and Sally. Love them so much. So that I, I love to paint. My thing about makeup is yay! Um thank you guys so much. Um your face is a canvas. Your makeup brushes are paint brushes. All it is is art. And so um I love art so much. But I have never tried anything Jeffree Star before. Oh, <gasps> Stephanie, you're so lucky. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is just one of my paintings that I've done. I don't know. I just picture it and then I can put it on paper. I actually never knew that I could paint until, um, oh yeah, Ali, I, und I understood what you meant. Um, I never knew that I could paint until about like four years ago or something. I came across one of those rock painting groups on Facebook and I decided, you know what, that'd be cool to do with the kids. Let's paint on some rocks and go hide them around town. Well, I painted on a rock and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I did a good job. I blew myself away. And, um, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Um, so yeah, I, I found out how to paint and I just started painting and then I, um, flipped that over into my, uh, to my makeup. And now I understand how people can do their makeup, um, to where they can make themselves look like Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean or like do their makeup to where they look like J-Lo. It makes sense to me now. All right. So let's dive into some past BoxyCharm stuff. And I think I have like some Ipsy stuff in here and like, yeah. So what do you guys want to see first? I got lipsticks. I got brushes. I got eyeliners. I got face products. Yes. See, I have many tattoos as well. Um, some of them I've done myself. That was done by a cousin though. But like my... <laughs> Everybody's got different opinions about this one right here, but it's like the bubble letter form of a Japanese symbol for love, which probably doesn't even mean that. Harry Potter, are you serious? Heck yes. Summer Breeze, that's amazing. My brother's a tattoo artist. I can't wait to be covered in tattoos. Stephanie, what do you mean? An it brush? Like it cosmetics? All right, really quickly, I have to do it. Sound off. Um, what house are you in for Harry Potter? Everyone. Everyone. Gotta know. Oh, 14 tattoos. I don't know how many I have. I lost track. <laughs> I honestly don't know which Harry Potter house I'm in, but there, it's a thing. Right? I, w I feel like I would be in Gryffindor. Gryffindor or Ravenclaw? Steph, you never seen Harry Potter? Sheila, that's awesome. <laughs> right? What? How could you not watch Harry Potter? It's amazing. Oh, sidetrack really quick. Sorry. Squirrel, I cannot ever stay on one subject. Gryffindor. Yep, I'm torn between Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. Um, have you guys seen The Ranch? Heck yeah, Gryffindor. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Maggie. Oh, my gosh, the ranch, though. I'm not going to drop any spoilers, but... Oh, my God. I need the new season to come out, like, today. Today, today. It needs to be out today. 
Amber, I think that you would be in Ravenclaw. Yeah, the ranch. Oh my gosh, but I swear. Oh, I don't want to, like, put any spoilers out there because I don't know if everyone's watched it, like, all the way through. But, there's oh, so much. Right? Allie, you got me all kinds of sidetracked. <laughs> all right, one sec. My dog just came in and, like, pushed open the door, so let me go close it really quick. All right, one more. Uh, oh my gosh, Amber, you need to watch the ranch. What are you talking about? You haven't seen it yet. Oh, what? Ashton Kutcher's in it. All right, let's do one more little sidetrackness, really quick. Maggie, come here. The ranch. It is a season. A TV show or whatever on Netflix, and it's amazing. Maggie, come here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come, here. come Maggie. Maggie, over here. Come closer. Come closer. Maggie, want to give me loves? Give me kisses. Give me kisses. No? Not today? You're constantly licking everyone's face off, and you don't want to lick my face off today? There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is my Maggie. She's such a good dog. Oh my god, she's the best listener on the planet. Okay, go lay down. I'm getting all kinds of sidetracked. Alright, I'm gonna start with lipsticks, because who doesn't love lipsticks? We already kind of started with lipsticks, so. Thank you, guys. She's amazing. She actually, um... Sidetrack was, um, so Zach was in the army and when he got out, yeah, she's key. Um, when he got out, he was in Kentucky and he went to a shelter to go find a dog and he found Maggie and she was set to be put down the next day because, um, she was bred to be a duck hunting dog. And she had to go through all these tests, and she didn't pass the water test, so they were going to put her down. Because I guess that's how they roll in Kentucky. Right? <laughs> I love all of my, my fur babies. Um, Maggie is a coonhound. American coonhound. And so she was set to be put down the next day, and Zach paid to adopt her. And then they had some weird rule where, like, um... He had to get her fixed before he could take her, like, paid to have her fixed. And so, he didn't have all the money um, to get her fixed right away. And he's like, well, I'll just come back and get her fixed, like, in a week or so. And they're like, no, you have to do it now. And so, um, he gathered up the money and he got her fixed so he could bring her home. And so, he saved her life and brought her to Oregon. <laughs> I'm so glad, too. I don't know what I would do without her. She's amazing. Um, okay, so we talked about... Let's get to some makeup, right, you guys? I mean, I love just sitting here chatting about whatever the, whatever you guys want to talk about. I like to talk. So, um, here is a DC lip gloss and lemonade. That was from a past boxy charm. Who else has this one? Right? I'm so glad. Could you? I couldn't imagine a world without... Maggie. Right. Angela, where are you from? I want one Jeffree Star lippy. I tell you what. Georgia. I want to I've I've been to Georgia. I was to I was at the Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia airport before I went to Ecuador. Wow, New York, that's far. Oh look at Ali and Summer, you guys are both in New York. Small world. Georgia Peach, yep. Alright, so there's that one. Here is another one. This one me and Boxy Charm kind of fought about for a little bit. 
Missouri. This is the Steve Laurent lip gloss in the shade Champagne. So I had got in my box. And it actually smells really good too. What's up with them making makeup that smells good that you can't eat? So the Steve Laurent, I got my box and I only ended up getting four items. And um, this was the fifth item that was on my list. And uh, I contacted BoxyCharm to let them know that I did not receive it. So they ended up sending me another one. So I got my lip gloss. Why do I got so many lip gloss? I don't even like them. Um, and then, of course, we got this last, was it last month? The Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip Gloss in Patina Shimmer. So this was in the add-on store. Where is I have I have makeup wipes, you guys. I normally don't wear lip glosses very much. I'm very picky about them. There we go. Yeah, I was in the Georgia, uh, Atlanta, Georgia airport, but I never went outside. Let's watch it. I want to swatch it like Jeffree Star. You guys see that? Yeah, the airport was ginormous. It was crazy. I saw pictures of it. Like back when <laughs> people carried around those disposable cameras. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Making friends on the live. That's awesome. So. Yeah, I heard it gets pretty bad down there and the mosquitoes are terrible. Yeah, this camera doesn't do it justice. It's pretty shimmery. <laughs> right? Amber, are you still here? And then I have a Kylie... Matte liquid lipstick that I got in a surprise bag off of Etsy. Came with the eyeliner. Ali, who are you taking or talking to? Talking to me? Really? That makes sense, Sheila. Because, yeah, it was packed. There's a lot of people there. And then I went and got on this tiny little airplane. It just seemed old and rickety. And we left for Quito, Ecuador. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. We don't get too hot here in Oregon. I think the hottest we normally get on average is like 100. Allie, were you asking me how to pronounce my name? No, Washington is pretty, um, really cool. It's like a really, um, kind of colder state. I lived in Squim, Washington there for a while. That was pretty. Right up by Port Angeles. Oh. 
think. Do nope, that's not it. Ah, where's my Kylie? No, yeah, we only get to up to about a hundred, but it's a very uh it's pretty humid though sometimes. Great, lost it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I heard that New York gets hit pretty hard in the summer, or in the winter. My bad. Yeah, Amber, I was talking to you. What? That's crazy. It is freezing here right now. Like, it is raining. It is just gray and dreary. Love Oregon in the winter. Yeah, I didn't, like, go out and personally purchase um, the Kylie lip gloss and lip liner. It came to me in a uh, one of those surprise bags from Etsy. And, of course, you guys all know my phone is dying. Plug it into my headphone case. I got these Bluetooth headphones, but it also doubles as a charger. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for Friday. Friday is Boxy Charm Day. <laughs> oh, my favorite kind of makeup. Makeup. <laughs> uh, Ofra. I really, 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 really like Ofra. And I am from Oregon. Or, I mean, I live in Oregon. I was born in Montana. Bun, bun. Yeah, I, after the day I've had, I just... Threw my hair up. Did not do nothing to my face. Actually, speaking of Ofra, let's just move on to this one. Bam! This was another boxy charm, I believe. Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Monica. Oregon is not that expensive to live at. At all, really. Actually, Oregon has a funny joke where we're always talking about, um, like, when the eclipse was happening and everybody wanted to come running here to see it. We're like, oh, no, the news was wrong. You can see it best from Arizona. <laughs> because we're always trying to kind of try to preserve our way of life over here. But, no, it is not expensive to live in Oregon. Nope. I would just stay away from Portland or Salem. It's definitely what I would say. Stay away from Portland. Definitely. Portland is a terrible place to be. But let's do a swatchy swatch of this one. This is Ofra. And this is normally my go-to liquid lipstick. Bam. It's really pretty, kind of pinky, shimmery, and it stays all day. It really, the long lasting liquid lipstick, it is long lasting. Yes, it is. Definitely recommend that one for sure. And it doesn't feel weird on your lips all day, like all dried out and what? I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, can we have an Ipsy moment real quick? I like Ipsy too. I get their glam bag. I haven't went all out and bought their plus or ultimate or nothing like that, but I get their glam bag. And I definitely got it when they were having their collaboration with Tetris. 
Hello! A little Tetris collaboration. Uh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I still have the box. That's how much I loved it. Glam Bag Plus. How is that, Summer? I hear good things and I hear bad things. So I'm not sure about it. Tetris. I really wanted, like, the other color of this one, but this one's cute too. This is. I don't think it has a shade name. Nope. It's just the silver one. Sweet. That's good to hear. I heard that everybody was demanding refunds from the ultimate. Pulling all my lip glosses out right now. For somebody who doesn't really like lip glosses, I have a lot. Yes, there was variations for the Ofer uh, liquid lipstick. Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw on YouTube a petition for everybody to get refunds on the Ultimate. Got it. It Cosmetics. What? Ah, where are you going? Got It Cosmetics Foundation. It in plus and their foundation brush. I like It Cosmetics. What color was the, what was it? Santorini? I can't remember what color that was, Angela. Summer, you love lip glosses? I think that's what you were saying. Yeah, there's a petition. There's an actual petition out for um, the ultimate. All right, is there anything else that we had gotten? Oh, yes. This was one of the top reasons, number one reason why I first got BoxyCharm. Topaz, yes, this is for BoxyCharm. Um, I mean, we're talking about, I just brought up a Ipsy lip gloss, but mostly I'm um, talking about BoxyCharm products. A berry type of shade. See, I, I can't go that far. Ali, I love makeup as well. Makes me happy. I have an addiction, but it's okay. Cause it's just makeup. Oh, Summer, you don't love lip glosses. Somebody else was saying they love lip glosses, I think. Allie, you said you like lip glosses. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this whole chat thing straight. I like Ipsy too, Sheila. No, Topaz, I get my boxy charm on Friday. But I had told you guys last night that I would start doing lives on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I'm trying to stick to that schedule. Topaz, you like uh, lip glosses? I like them, but like this Tetris one, it's sticky. I don't like it. And then here's this one. Does anybody remember this? <gasps> Summer, lucky! You'll have to tell me on Friday if we got any matching items. <laughs> How do you like the Hollywood and Vine eyeliner, Angela? I'm hearing mixed reviews on that as well. But here's the Tristique primer and lipstick. I got this because of this. Oh! Yeah, see, Sheila, that's what I was hearing, that they're supposed to be like five or six full-size products and like like three deluxe size and it was backwards see yeah angela that's what i heard is that it's really creamy how do you like the tweezers topaz Hi, Cindy. Oh, wow. Eight full and four deluxe. Yeah, I heard it was backwards. But they actually lied about the amounts you were getting. 
But I got this because... See, yeah, I, w I hope I get the tweezers, honestly. So, this is magnetic. Boom. I thought that was cool. Oh, the Hollywood and Vine sucks. That's not good. And then it comes with like a little... I gotta, I gotta stay back a little bit. The little primer bottom thingy. Oh, the Ultimate's mainly skincare. And then... The lipstick itself is cool because it's like this rectangular type shape. Yeah, I got the Sassy Sienna, so we'll have to see how that works out. Alright, I'm going to move on from the lipsticks. And let's talk about makeup brushes. The Sassy Sienna's Topaz. Am I saying that right? Topaz? 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 Yeah. Topaz. I want to move on to brushes. Right, there's supposed to be six palettes, but nowhere have I ever seen that somebody got the Snow Angels. Oh, cool, Topaz. So then... The add-ons will come separately from your box, right? Alright, let me see if I can't separate these out a little bit. I got some sets. Oh, that's cool! I really wanted the big browns. That one looked cool. Oh, somebody got the blushing berries. I did see one get berries. I had no interest in snow angels. Yeah, I kind of wanted the Snow Angels one just because there was kind of a variety of colors in that one. And it was just, like, nice to look at. But I normally don't put blue on my eyes. But it looked really pretty. That's a box charm brush. Oh, yeah, and I've heard that they're, like, super creamy in the texture, too. That's not a box of charm, but I'm going to show you guys that one anyways. That one, that one, that one, that one. I like barely touching it goes far. That is awesome. I like hearing that. That's an Ipsy, but that's okay. I can show you guys that one. Yeah, I like how pretty it is. All right, by Amber. Um, oh man, yes, I have a brush addiction as well. Bye, Angela. I hope to catch you guys you next time. Hopefully, I can see you on Friday. Topaz, I really like motor brushes. I have a motor brush addiction. Oh, welcome back, Allie. Good to see you. I don't remember. I think that was an Ipsy brush. That one I got somewhere else. Yeah, uh, definitely love. Where'd that go? Motor brushes. Basso brushes. Oh, I'll have to look into that. Thank you for that little tip, Summer. Thank you, Angela. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I can get some answers soon and be able to update everyone. Is there anybody on here now that missed the beginning um, of what's going on? The news I found out today? Thank you, Angela. I'll see you next time. Bye, makeup bestie. Oh no, Rima, that's terrible. All right, um, so it looks like there's quite a bit of people here now that weren't earlier. Um, I went to the doctor today 
and um, had an examination done and am being sent to a breast surgeon who specializes in breast cancer. Which um, we had found, thank you Sheila, I appreciate it a lot. Um, we had found a lump uh, a year ago but I've been having some issues um, with my arm, so they kind of chalked it up to that. But I went back um, today and told them that um, it didn't feel right. And so my doctor felt it and did an examination on it. And she said, yes, you are right. This does not feel regular and is sending me over there. Topaz, yes, I have some uh, help and support. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Summer. Yeah, I have some help, Topaz. A little bit. Not much, but enough. Enough help, that's for sure. But I was just wanting to keep everybody updated, and I have another appointment with the um, breast surgeon on the 22nd. Thank you, Topaz. I appreciate that. But yes, Rima, it could be benign. So that's what we're hoping for. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. So, um, Tracy said, you're supposed to get two boxes. Oh, best of both worlds, the Sassy Sienna's and the Big Browns. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. They have Jeffree Star outfits? No way, Allie. It's crazy. I will, Sheila. Thank you. I will, Topaz. Definitely. And, oh, I didn't know it was official, like an official petition against Ipsy. Thank you, Summer. I really appreciate that. I'll keep that in mind for sure. Because I don't think it's really hit me yet, The what the doctor told me. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably have my day to be an emotional wreck. And then um, I will... Hop right back up on my feet and do what I need to do. Summer, I'm going to make a note of your Instagram right now. Or, you know what? I'll probably forget because I have a terrible memory. If you could just hop on uh, there and uh, send me a follow or a message, however Instagram works. It's uh, Kyla Sibit. I think it's... Oh, I think I just changed my stuff. Uh... Uh, yeah, Topaz, I wish it was that easy, but it's, it's there in my brain. On Facebook, my name's, uh, Kyla Sibit. You can definitely add me on there as well. I changed my name on YouTube because I had a weird guys messaging me on Facebook, sending me some weird stuff, so I changed it. Allie, you didn't hear what happened? Are you talking about my doctor's appointment today? Or are you talking about the Ipsy thing? It's another reason why I don't wear lip gloss. So I sit there and go all day long. I annoy people. Everybody went away. What happened? Where'd you go? There must be a delay. I think there might be a delay. Ah, uh, Allie, thank you. I appreciate that. For the most part, normally I'm... Pretty alone 
choose to be that way. Not very trustworthy of people, so um, it's really nice to hear you guys' well wishes. It's very helpful right now. Um, there's some other stuff that's going on in my life right now that's very, very, very hard and difficult. But that is a different story for another day. Probably after I'm done going through it. No, Topaz, I don't. What's your name on there? On What's my name on Facebook or Instagram? Because I don't quite remember what my name is on Instagram. <laughs> I just changed it. Instagram. All right, let me check really quick. My name on Instagram is just Kyla Civic. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Oh, don't be doing that. Jeez. Kyla Sibbit. I don't know if that's my screen name or whatever it's called. Oh, my screen name is Everything Boxy Charm. Switched it over. I'm going all Boxy Charm. Holy Boxy Charm. Of course, Topaz. I am looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Steph. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Summer. Uh, have a good night. I will see you again soon for sure. What a Yep. Oh. You're supposed to be doing your Batman voice. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow, Raymond. Good job. Whatever you want to do. It's all right, Sheila. Um, thank you, Topaz. I actually think I'm going to get off of here soon. It's so easy to get caught up. We've already been on here for almost an hour. I love sitting here and chatting with you guys. It's awesome. It makes me feel a lot better. I'm very happy. So, um, yeah, it is getting pretty late, and I didn't notice what time it was. So, yeah, I think we will just... Thank you, Rima. Thank you so much, Topaz. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sheila. It's been fun. Bye, Tracy. Have a good night. I'm really glad I got to meet all of you. You guys are all wonderful, great people. I appreciate chatting with you. This has been so fun. I'm so glad I decided to make a YouTube. This is awesome. I got to meet amazing people Allie what are you talking about lost Allie I do know that uh... oh I think I just got a message from somebody I was talking about your doctors. Um, I think that my chat's really slow because I'm not quite following your conversation, Allie. So sorry. Last one I got was, I wish I could squeeze you. Uh, yes. And yes, Kennedy Jane Beauty. I know that. I know that, YouTube. I was talking about your doctors. Uh, what? I'm confused. I don't know what to do. We'll go over brushes next time. We made it through lipsticks tonight, you guys. Woo! We accomplished something. Next time I see you guys, I'll be unboxing the boxy charm. So excited. So, so excited.
right. I firmly believe in that, Ali. Bye, Rima. It was lovely chatting with you. Take off this lip gloss. Yeah. Alrighty, thank you guys for the likes. I really appreciate it. It helps me out for sure. Oh, Sheila, we will definitely chat again soon. Without a doubt. I know we will. You're a good person. I like talking to you. For show, for showly. Alrighty, you guys. I'm out. I was about to be like pieces, but it's just weird. Alrighty. If I missed anything, any comments? Me either, Sheila. I look forward to talking to you. It's always a very pleasant time. Allie, if you can message me on YouTube or on Instagram or something, I'm not I'm not receiving your comments. So, um, yeah. Message me on one of those so I could see your comments. Chat. Alright. I had so much fun and I am this was great. So let's do it again soon. Aw, oh, man, kitten, you missed it. Be sure to watch the replay. Um, shared some very personal news that I got today. Just wanted to update everybody on my channel of what I'm about to go through. Good night, Ali. It was nice talking with you, even though YouTube took away some of your comments. You're an awesome person. Alrighty, you guys. You have a great night, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.